76 divided by 3, all times by 10, times 2014 to the power of 6. Who's keeping up? <laughs> if you were, you'd be labelled a genius. Somebody might make a film based on your life, starring Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise, might win an Oscar. You'd be considered an exceptional human being. Yet, in a matter of seconds, any of us can use a relatively basic piece of technology on 94% of our mobile phone. Find it out within seconds. If we're looking at whether technology is a replacement of the human brain, we have to look at the computer process of your human brain. Now, the human brain can compute around 10 to the power of 14 individual calculations every second. That's pretty impressive. As of 2010, the most powerful computer in the world did 10 to the power of 24 calculations per second, making humans look pretty stupid. Any one of us can find out any facts that we so desire in one or two seconds. We're now living in a world where efficiency is key. In prototype, a self-driving car. What they'll be able to do is create cleaner, faster, safer, more efficient roads. In order to achieve efficiency, what we need to remove clearly is human error. And humans are all capable of doing that. Computers are advancing at a stage that humans have never been able to. Currently, IBM are building a computer. As was mentioned earlier, it will be bigger than this room, but it will be able to process the entire traffic of the internet every day, twice. That's a lot more than a human could ever do. All these facts are available to us. If these facts are available, why learn the reactivity series? Why learn the kings and queens of England? Why learn anything? Why learn? As you can probably tell, I'm here before you today to try and argue that technology will never be a replacement for the human brain. I think I've already made that clear. 42 is an answer that many of you will know from the brilliant novel, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. But it's just a number. And it was generated within those novels by a computer. Now, you and I know that that can never, ever be the answer. But computers, they see things in binary, in yes or no, in black or white. The human brain sees color. The human brain is creative. And it's that creativity that allows humans to surpass any technology ever developed. The creativity to look at something and make it better. Technology doesn't develop itself because it needs that creativity. Art matters to people because it's a communication of emotion. A boy can see an impressive computer. He can be amazed by it. Or he can go to the theater, he can watch King Lear. He can come out shaking, empowered, amazed at the, hum the humanity, amazed at nature. Five years later, he might mention it in a speech. Creativity is so important to all of us. So that's what we should be enabling, educating, and empowering for our young people today. Thank you very much for listening.